Jobs data, that's our topic for today's Backstage Pass. Stocks are down and bonds are sharply down so far this morning. This means mortgage rates are going to open up worse this morning. And we'll talk more about that in the moment. But what's all the commotion about? Why are, why are bonds moving so sharply? Well, it's jobs data. BLS released their jobs report for the month of July. This is also called the non-farm payroll report. And uh, this showed the jobs increase in the month of July by 528,000. This was more than double the expected 250,000 jobs. So a big, big uh, miss as far as the forecast goes and much, much higher than expected. They also revised the month of June data higher as well. So went back and revised that and then a, a big month for July. Now, now, why does this affect, you know, what, what's the, why are the bonds market, uh, why are they hating this, uh, this data? Well, that's because jobs in general are speak to inflation. Basically, whenever companies are hiring and increasing the, you know, the jobs that they have out there, that means that they are trying to keep up or meet the demand that is coming in from the market. So in general, if demand is higher or increasing, then inflation is increasing. And so the jobs data really speaks to inflation data um, and showing that inflation could be still a problem. And remember, inflation is the enemy of the bond. So the jobs data is indicative of what's going on in the market. And, uh, and that's really why the bond market is reacting the way that it is. Now, look, initially, um, whenever this data initially came out, the 10 year immediately went up, the yield went up 10 basis points, mortgage bonds dropped 50 basis points. At the time of recording, the 10 year is up 15 basis points and mortgage bonds are down about 80 basis points. Um, and so, like I said, you know, mortgage rates are definitely going to open higher. And look, it's been a bumpy week this week for the bond market and for rates. You know, we've had some up days, had some down days um, on the week. We're lower right now. And, and this, this, uh, the, the reaction in the market could just be a, a knee jerk reaction, right? And so throughout the day, it, you know, we could see bonds kind of regaining some of their lost ground. And if we do see that, we could see some repricing throughout the day. Uh, but the opposite could be true as well. This could just turn sour in the bond market. And, um, you know, we do have some support levels, the technical support levels that um, could help support the bonds. Uh, but if, um, if this just stays and sours in the mouth, then it, it, you know, we could see some repricing for the worse throughout the day as well. Now, on to other news, some other news that came out this week. Mortgage Bankers Association released their application data. This is data for the previous week, last week, and it showed that purchase applications were up 1%. It's the first time purchase applications have been up for in about five weeks. It also showed that purchase applications year over year we're down 16%. That's better than the previous report and the previous couple of reports that were showing that was down about 18%. So that's good news. Also, the average interest rate dropped from 5.74% to about 5.43%. So a very, very nice drop in interest rates. Um, refinances were up about 2% week over week. And so overall, application data and applications were, were higher um, going up last week. And uh, could see, you know, the interest rates could have something to do with that. Um, and we can just hope that that trend, uh, trend continues. Now, that's all the news that we have for today. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. We'd love to answer your questions. And also, do not forget, stay positive. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you on Monday.